Okay, I'm ready. Okay. Right. Communication. I truly enjoy listening and talking to my parents, partner, children, and friends, and vice versa. And the other side of that is, I lack interest in what my parents, partner, kids, or friends have to say, so I don't engage, or I feel ignored by them. <clears throat> I lack interest in what they have to say, but I'm not a very good listener sometimes, so it makes it difficult for me when they are constantly talking. <laughs> what? <laughs> what would you give yourself on a scale of one to 10? How would you rate yourself on oh that card? As a listener? Because I very much care about what's going on with the people in my life and my friends. It's just in terms of time is a difficult thing for me to allocate. Politician give it so a So I'd number. say in terms of being a good listener, I'm a seven. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I have something in my throat. Is that your final answer? Yes. Okay. My card is responsibility. I handle my money, commitments, and other obligations responsibly. Is this really a card? Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, you got to go first. So you, <laughs> you got to run that good old mouth. And <laughs> now it's my turn. There it is. Go ahead. Uh -huh. I do not handle my money, commitments, or other obligations responsibly. Do I start or? <laughs> okay, that's what um, that is. Uh, too sure. I am starting to handle. My, what was the word? Did you say again? You know this is in polka, right? This one I kind of feel he would probably give to me because it's the forgiveness card. This is like on both things because it's like for things, mistakes that I've made in the whole dating thing. I try not to carry over to the next person. And he said, you shouldn't put what happened in the past, conduct what's going on right now with me and you. And I was like, wow. So I'm, I know he would pull this card on me and go talk about that. <laughs> Love, sex, and relationships, that's like a negative 10 or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I can relate to this, but I don't even know how to answer it on any scoreboards. Right now, I'm questioning myself about that. So, hi, my name is Stephanie Nador. I am the founder of WARM, and WARM stands for We All Really Matter. We are an organization that uh, uh, helps uh, deal with women in domestic violence and bring awareness to our community. And it was so amazing to see some of the women open up and interact with the game and see them uh, just start talking about stuff that they had no clue that they even was uh, dealing with. And it was so nice to see them get so comfortable with one another. These women are strangers. They come from different walks of life. They come from all different kind of uh, backgrounds and nationalities. And to see them come together and interact and see what power those cards hold. There's power to those cards. What I like about the game is it's it's a door opener. It's a conversation piece. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You find out about, you, like you found out things about me. Yeah. You didn't know I found yeah, yeah. things about you. I didn't know. Yeah. And me being a parent, I think this would be a good door opener for me and my oldest daughter to sit down and play. I think this is just going to make a stronger bond between couples, between parents and children, between uh, friends. I had a breakthrough in this game, it, as simple as it was. It was powerful because it allowed me to open up and to tap into who I am. Not only to tap into who I am, but it allowed me to tap into who other people are. I'm sitting in a room with people for the first time that I did not know, but I'm going to leave, leave out knowing them spiritually. Mm. We really enjoyed this because it really tapped into some deep issues. You might need tissue. Who knows? Or you might need a hug. Who knows? You might need a laugh. Who knows? Or a drink. <laughs> <laughs>